hello my dear friends welcome to Rizagul bin channel in the before last video we have shown one error and this is the next video and before one more time let me show the model number for this it's obliquely optiplex 980 and let me let us see the error this is the computer the flatbed type and this is the error type the system password and press enter and when we try to enter something uh, wrong password uh, let me enter like the one two three four five enter number of unsuccessful password attempt six system had halted must power down let me switch off this computer manually yeah, let me switch off, switch off like this now it's got shut down and switch it on again and now it's starting we find the same issue so to solve this error before that just disconnect the hard disk SATA cable why means when we shut down for manually this computer four or five times the operating system get uh, issue for that purpose just we are going to do we have disconnected the SATA cable and we have to find the jumper to reset the BIOS let us let us see whether where is the jumper in this 4B let me check here it, here it is the jumper just we will remove this chamber from here now I will remove this chamber from here and let us start again I am going to switch on from here Now the screen is appearing. Let us see what's going to happen. Now performing. Alert previous attempts of booting the system has failed. Checkpoint. Press F5 on board. Diagnostic and something like this. Now strike F1 to continue and F2 to run the setup utility. Just yes, if we press it like this for F1 to continue and we have disconnected the hard disk SATA cable and there will not be any operating system and we will maybe get the same uh, error message like there is no boot device or something like that. Boot failure, see there is no boot no bootable device available over here and normally like uh, same I done before I am going to switch off this one I manually I shut down this computer and let me reconnect the let me reconnect the jumper over here as it's a my connector and and I am going to connect this SATA cable reconnector after reconnecting let me switch on this computer now it's coming let us see if it's finding same error or whether it is the password has got reset showing same no bootable device
let me connect this hard disk as it is before fix this one and we'll fix the CD CD drive yeah, both it's fixed and let me press the F1 still it's showing same message let me you can use control alt delete to restart restart the machine again and we find the same there is no bootable device let me check let us check this hard disk let us turn it again i just disconnected all uh, with power supply and data transfer SATA cable and I reconnected it again let me switch on this computer I disconnect to the power cord yeah, now we connect the power cable let me switch on It's coming multiplex. Same no boot device F12. We try to boot F2. Let us see the bio setup and general. Let's see, I will make this closer. Boot sequence. It's not showing this motherboard date and time. Can I can see this game sort one two GB two GB and uh, its memory. Everything is showing like this. We have to check for BIOS or drivers. SATA operation it's on right let us keep the keep legacy just we apply drivers SATA one external SATA let me check all these options apply it's enabled and uh, system configuration Integrator USB and uh, serial ports auto and video virtualization performance. Oh, is everything and uh, there is a lot of stack post behavior. There's nothing we are going to do, just I'm going to I give it a supply, just exit and see whether because it was in the format of ride on. Try to not found serial letter alert fail to detect one or more drive during post. Same error message. F1 to continue. This one will give start normally. So 
so we have remote password and in the BIOS it was in the write on which we changed to legacy on so this is how to solve this issue for uh, the password removing thank you for watching my video if any doubts or any comments you can just text me on the comment box thank you for watching my video and bye bye see you